In the beginning, the role of your HR team was largely functional. It was centered around payroll, leave, policy making and training. Recruitment generally meant putting an ad in the paper and hoping for the best, or hiring a recruiter. Then things changed. Technology and social media happened and as a result, your role as the head of HR began to evolve. Being just a brand name company was no longer enough. Because of social media, everyone knows what it's like to work in your company. They can see who works there, if you have cool company perks, what your company culture is like, and even if your office has a slide. The employer brand was born. Now every employee is an ambassador. Their experiences are shared with a captive online audience who in turn share it with their audiences. Today, the first step of recruitment doesn't start with a job application. It starts online. The very first thing a prospective job candidate does is run a search on you. Not just your company. It's also your LinkedIn profile that they are looking at. As the head of HR, you now also need to be a brand builder and a marketer. Recruitment began to change too. Technology opened up a whole new world of talent. But not just active job seekers, but hundreds upon thousands of qualified candidates who weren't actively looking. It was a game changer. You now had direct access to talent. You no longer had to wait for the right CV to cross your desk. Your employees were also increasingly becoming a valuable source of recruitment. As ambassadors for your company, they were best placed to identify the right people to join your team. But for them to do that efficiently, you needed to give them the right tools. A strong employer brand, a great company narrative, and an inspiring work environment. As the head of HR, you now also need to be a communications expert and motivator. Technology also opened up an overwhelming world of data to HR leaders. There was so much opportunity to utilize this data to improve the decision-making process, make better hires and retain talent, all at your fingertips. You just had to make sense of it all because you now needed to be an analyst and an insights person. Today, the role of HR in an organization is no longer functional. It is transformational. As a head of HR, you are responsible for building your employer brand so that you attract the right talent. You deliver value for your company by understanding and using data-driven insights to improve efficiencies. You hire the right talent by connecting with the right people. You are a brand builder, an analyst, a communicator, a motivator, and a collaborator. And as your partners at LinkedIn, we are here to provide you with just the tools and insights you need to get the job done. Welcome to our first ever episode of Compass Mind Asia's HR Intervention, or you can also call it HR TV in short. So how are all of you today? I see so many of you online already. Hi, CA. Hi, Karishma. Hi, Rohit. Whoever who is here today, can I see a hi and tell me where are you from? Give me your name and where you're from because there are some that appears as LinkedIn users and I don't know who you are and I'd love to know who there is. So put in the comment section below your name and where you're from. All right, so, okay, we're going live and if you're watching live, you can hashtag live in the comment section and if you're watching a replay and you didn't get the, and you didn't get to watch the live, you just hashtag replay so let me introduce a little bit about myself i'm shireen the managing director of compass mind asia and where we help organizations grow through our corporate training programs for the last 20 years yes that will be 20 years so i see more people hi Pal. so nice to see you here too who else is here hi teacher ken so nice to see all the lovely faces of people i know and some i don't thanks for all the congratulating congratulatory message because yes 
this is our very first show and I'm so excited. So anyway, before we dig in on uh, what this show is about, let me introduce you to our first speaker because I'm sure you're waiting to know who it is and what his caliber is like, right? So, our... Introducing to you, James Sassy. <laughs> Hello, hello everyone. Hi, so good to be here. How is everyone today? How are you, Cherie? I'm doing so good. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for having me on the show. It's well, I'm so, so good to glad to know you are great amidst all the amidst where you are now, and I know why. So, but it's so wonderful to have you here. By the way, guys, let me introduce a little bit about James Sassi to you. He's from one of the Malaysia's large energy company involved in oil and gas as well as marine and so james, wow and james is a, a hr generalist and specialized in talent management as well as lnd well he worked with the queen in london well not with the queen though for seven years yeah that's that's always her wave isn't it james <laughs> And he returned to Malaysia, steadily gained reputation as an international certified trainer and, a, and talent manager. Well, he worked in so many countries, even I can't remember it so much. But let me try this. Indonesia. Yes. What's that? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's, it's a quiz, right? Okay. Starts with Indonesia, Thailand, Turkmenistan. Did I pronounce that right? Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan, Pakistan, India, Saudi Arabia, Sri Lanka, and Dubai. Oh, oh one Dubai. more. One more. You forgot. Malaysia. Yes, tanah tumpahnya darahku. <laughs> oh, well, thanks for reminding me on that. You've been yes. too many places around the world that I tried to remember all those places. Well, really, it's a it's really sending a chill down my spine to have you here today, Sassy. And I'm sure what I've just said is just the icing on the cake, isn't it? So why don't you tell us more about yourself? How do you know I love cakes, Shireen? Do you have that for lunch today? Because I have a cookie for lunch. That's not very healthy. Uh, so enough about you. Let's talk about me. <laughs> okay, go on. <laughs> Uh, thank you for the introduction. It's so good to be here. Thank you for uh, you know having me on as your first guest. I'm so honored, Shireen. Uh, we we will we will reveal to our guests uh, as to how far we go later on. Let them keep guessing. Uh, so I um, started off as a uh, law student. I, as you said, uh, I didn't work for the Queen, by the way. No. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I studied uh, law. I completed my law degree, um, and uh, I, I I also completed my bar finals, and I did my bar at the Middle Temple Inns of Court. So, if you have any relations or have been to Middle Temple Inns of Court, please put it in the comment, and we'll be buddies. Okay. Uh, when I finished my bar finals, I came back for a short stint in Malaysia. Um, I worked for a, for, a, for a bank for a while and then I received a scholarship to go back to the UK. Can you imagine? The Queen actually missed me. She said, why don't you come back for a spot of tea, old boy? So I left Malaysia and went back to the UK where I completed my MBA in one year. And um, that's where I gained international uh, work reputation working for, uh, while I was studying as well, working for a uh, large company that was uh, connected to Rupert Murdoch uh, in the UK for about four years, um, uh, steadily gaining reputation. But of course, I, I didn't really work in a big company then. I was also a bartender. I didn't bartend. I was actually pulling. Wow, that's so, impressive. Yeah. <laughs> and when I, when I came back uh, so many years ago, I started working uh, in the HR field. Uh, with uh, another royal family, which is the royal family of Negri Sembilan. So if you are connected to the royal family of Negri Sembilan, please put it in the comment right now. 
Um, I spent so uh, four years. It? Yes, I worked four years with uh, Sharika Pasaka Anta, uh, a wonderful, wonderful company, a uh, wonderful family to work with. Uh, but I also, by the way, Shireen published a book for uh, the, the late uh, His Royal Highness. Maybe in the next uh, episodes, if you have me on the show again, I'll probably show you. Um, yeah, so my HR uh, role started there with uh, my very deep interest in developing people, uh, especially the young ones, the fresh graduates, uh, putting in programs like the HYPO programs, the management training programs. Um, never really thought within the box because I never had a box, maybe because I was too big to be put in a box. Uh, so big in what sense? Don't mind me asking. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, not the yeah. size, right? No, no, no. Oh. The, the size of the heart, of course. Big heart. Okay, okay. Got it. <laughs> so that's where I started uh, putting in uh, or, or bringing in a new way of developing the, the, the new generation, if you see, long before Gen Y came into the, you know, to the corporate world. Uh, okay. Well, to make a long story short, I've uh, been in the L&D profession. Uh, my my job with uh, the last uh, oil and gas company took me around the world, as you said, uh, which further exposed me to places that I've never been before. And I learned that uh, wherever you go, um, HR has always been the focal point. HR has always been the heart of the organizations. Won't you agree, Purine? Absolutely. And I'm sure our guest on the show agrees on that too. Yeah. If you agree... Say yes. Comment yes in the section below. So anything else, Asi, that you'd like to share with us? Hmm. Would you like to know my professional side or the juicy side? Oh, I think they are all waiting for the juicy side, James. We all love juicy stuff. Really? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, the juicy side. Here's, okay, let's let's uh, let's let's just have fun a bit here. Okay, so uh, there was one time when uh, I was in the UK and I actually was in Hyde Park for a show, and Prince Charles comes, and you know we're taking picture, and my friend says, "Hey, that's Prince Charles," and all that. So I get pushed right to the front of the yeah. the barricade, and Prince Charles just walks right in front of me. You know, I'm like, this is my opportunity eh, to get into the royal family. Eh? And uh, you know, I was so I was so awestruck, and he just walked right past me. And you know what I did? What I went and, and as he walked past me, I was like, "Hey, Charlie! Hey, hey, Charlie! Charlie!" I actually said that. And do you know what happened? If this was a long time ago in the, in the Middle Ages, they would have said, "Off with his head." But <laughs> Prince Charles actually stopped, turned around, walked towards me, put his hands out, and he said, "How do you do?" And I was like, I didn't know what to say. <laughs> you were frozen. Yes, I was. And you just walked and was like, I thought you were my old buddy. Yeah, it seemed like it, the way you called him. <laughs> yeah. So that's just, a, <laughs> that's just a very, very uh, tiny, juicy part of me, which I always, always love to share whenever I do my trainings, just as an icebreaker. You know, it's, it's fun to get to know people and uh, yeah. the experiences that they bring uh, to uh, HR, especially in L&D. Yeah. Wonderful. So shall we welcome some of our guests? I see May online. Hi, May. Hi, Sarawana. And then we also see one. Hi, one. Hi, Pritpal. Uh, Cairo, Cairo, welcome. I know you're on the run today. Hi, Sam. How are you, Sam? Let's see who else is on. Hi, Liz. Hi, Tila. Hi, Aliza. So nice. So, to see many, so, people, many, so people. many people from LinkedIn. It's so nice to see all of you here. Yeah. Oh, Hi, Shariza. Vivian. So lovely to see all of you. Well, guess what? If you all stay until the end, I might have a surprise for you. So remember to stay until the end, okay? So anyway, I must say, James, it's been so impressive. Your whole intro has been wow. And I feel I'm so lucky to even have you on the show. Thank uh, you. <laughs> oh, what? Okay. What are you going to say? 
more, more, more. <laughs> the more we will come later, okay? Yes. So before we dive in further, can we have the intro video, please? <laughs> Awesome. Hi, Shakila. Hi, Shiva. Wow, Hi, Shakila. this is so exciting. There's James, a teacher so, in the house. Yeah, There's a teacher in the house. Yes, yes. He's an amazing teacher. I tell you, I've got so much to tell you about him after this. Okay, teacher Ken. <laughs> so before we start, yeah. I want to ask you, James, did you yes. happen to read my LinkedIn post today? Because, you know, we did, we, we used a lot of we, us, you know, Shireen and Sassy show. Why all the we, us, and togetherness? Shall we reveal what's the secret about? Ta-da! <laughs> yes, go ahead. So, all right. So actually, James and I will be hosting HR Intervention from episode two onwards. So he will be the host too. I'm so happy to have that. So Thank um, you. We're going to have so it's much our, fun. Uh, definitely. Since it's our first episode, shall we make it really light and easy or shall we make it serious? Because really the tagline for this one is let's get serious. Why so serious? Yeah, serious is boring, isn't it? So let's just have some fun. So behind the scenes, we have our crew, Faiz and Nina. So what they will be doing, James, and of course, uh, of all of our friends, they'll be asking us questions and we're going to answer their questions. I hope it's not going to be difficult questions. Hi, guys. <laughs> Bye, no Zanina. question is too difficult. It's all in the mind. I agree on that. So shall we hand it over to them so maybe they might be able to make the, the show serious? I don't know. So over to you guys. Okay, are you guys ready? Okay, I, I know I am, but James doesn't seem to want to entertain me right now. <laughs> no, I thought this was James, oh, James get serious. <laughs> okay, number one. All right. Who sure. came up? Okay, question number one. Who came up with the idea to have HRTV and why? Hmm, that's a very good question. HR TV was coined by myself also because I wanted to play the blue ocean where being the first training provider to be on live TV. <laughs> yes, and that's the why. Always play in the blue ocean and not in the red ocean. But I came up with only HR TV and I think James can explain more on that because as we had a chat, oh my God, his brain just went bursting with so much of ideas. Come on, James, share. So when she called me, uh, she said, uh, James, um, you know, I'd like you to be the guest of my uh, HR internet TV, but I do want to call it internet TV. And she started, you know, and I was at work. Okay, and I was like, okay, Shireen, here we go. So my brain went overload and I went, okay, HRT, what? Okay, why don't we call it intervention? Because it has a lot that you can come out of the intervention. It could be the international convention. Who knows? This show could go into a convention mode. It could be an HR intervention as in whereby we as HR specialists give our uh, opinions and our uh e examples from 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 our experiences uh you know you're you're still young you're probably just two years in the show uh in in, in the in the field but i'm i probably am more yeah, like, like, yeah okay, our experiences young, okay. and, uh, you know it's just it's just not about us but it's also about the audience sharing their feedback as well so this is the interaction that comes in so you can you can derive a lot from just the word mm -hmm. intervention with you yeah. sure like, like i want to add on to that do you know how evil he was to me he just said i think hr intervention and then he says okay i got to go for a meeting and he puts out the phone on me and like like my head is buzzing away it's like okay that sounds really good that sounds really great and it's like 
okay, what next? What next? And I had to wait for a couple of hours, right from before lunch to after office hours when we got to talk again. And then we went on with all his explanation like he did just now. So yes. James is very used to torturing me and I'm I'm getting used to it, although we've known each other what for what, 15 years now, I guess, or more? I think a bit more. Yeah. Although I still look, look young. If I shave off my goatee, you know, I'll, I'll probably be just like 20 years old. Oh. Yeah, we go a long way back. I mean, oh. I knew Shireen in a professional uh, uh, setting where she came to where I was working. In uh, I think our first uh, first meeting was with uh, IOI. You know, where I was working in IOI Corporation. Yeah, yeah, that was our first. Uh, yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah. And uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm very particular about my 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 training companies, my training providers, and my trainers. So. Just as Shireen was like, I, I really, you know, dug into Shireen. I was like, I was asking her a lot of questions like, okay, before I give you this particular training, I need to know A to Z about everything about not just you, your company, your trainers, et cetera, et cetera. So that's me. He dissected every part of me and sent me home from the eyes to the nose to the teeth. And he left everything in pieces. I had to grab myself back and walk out of his room, shaking away. But seriously, it was very scary with the first time I met him. And you still remain so gorgeous, Shireen. My friends oh. were asking me, Kon hai, bohot kupsurat ladki. If you don't speak Greek, yeah, you can translate. Greek? If you want to translate that? Okay, that's what Greek is. Who is that beautiful lady? Oh, that's so sweet. Please recommend me to some of your friends. <laughs> I, was, I was talking about Nuna, not... How evil of you, see, see guys, I don't know what, what I go through every time I talk to him. Anyway, hi May, May Jean is in the house, Shashikala, and then we have Samantha, Raish, R R Risha, Rish, Risha, 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 Hey, there was, hello, there was other people. Where are you guys, some of you from? I would love to know. Raisha, are you from Malaysia? Louise, Vincent, or should I call Lee. it? Nancy. Yes. Is that Lies Pucher or Pucher? I don't know. Ah, we shall Great try to. <laughs> and hi, Audrey. So let's let's move on to the next question because I think if not there won't be a next question because yes. we're taking all their time. Over right, to you so guys. My next question will be: uh, What is this show about? Uh, the concept and the team. Would you please elaborate on that? Founder of the show, Shereen. Oh, I thought I would love you to handle that question first. Maybe. This is our I'll, show. I'll yeah. I'll fill in the gap. <laughs> Well, okay, the, the initial idea of the show was because many, many, I, I guess over a year ago, I've been pushed to do live and more on the, and the only idea I had was to interview trainers. But I, after a while, I had this conflict with myself. It's like, I love trainers. Trainers can give so much of value. But everyone is doing that already. It's like, hello, I, like I say, no red ocean, blue ocean. So I had a conflict with myself on and on. And so eventually the idea of interviewing HR people came about. But of course, HR has the sensitive areas, right, James? Yes. So when we're going to talk about HR areas, we're going to be careful about the sensitive areas. You want to add on to that, James? No? Hey, let's go in. Let's, let's tear it apart. That's what the show is all about. Come on, Shireen. They want juicy bits. They don't want icing on the cake. They want to go into the cake and find out what's in the cake. Shireen. Peekaboo. That's what it's all about. Yeah, was... We are not just going to be another show whereby we just talk about oh, HR this, HR that, lovey dovey, blah, blah, blah. But we're going to talk about some really, really hard to talk about issues, yeah? So bring it on, bring it on. I mean, we're not going to be so controversial, I think, Shireen, yeah? But we are going to talk about, because this is, this is personally, this is who I am. And I've got into so much trouble before that as well, when I started asking why, why not? You know, it's yeah. all for the good of the organization, because at the end of the day, the HR is the heart of the organization, if you don't, I mean, if you agree with me, right? So the focus is on the organization. So if you, if you still want to remain 
backward and not look forward and not, you know, welcome tough questions that will make you think, what's the point? Bingo. But I totally agree with you. Totally. Guys, if you all have any HR related questions or so, please put it in the chat. James will answer it. <laughs> so am I putting you in the in hot soup? Oh, no, in, on the hot spot and the hot chair. <laughs> Aren't we good at doing that to each other, James? If not, it gets serious. Why so serious? Hmm, not at all. We can't. We can't be here serious. Hi, Aziz. Hi, Shanyu. Let's Shanyu. see. <laughs> Yay. So do we have another question at all? Oh, we have a lot of questions for you guys. <laughs> Um, you were talking about why so serious just now, right? But I noticed, uh, we noticed your logo, your tagline is serious discussions only. So why so serious? Is this go really going to be a super serious uh, talk show? Look at my serious face. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I can never brush that smile off that face to make it serious. So really serious? No way, not from not from the Sassy and Shireen show. No way. Yeah. Because, right? uh, yeah, because uh, Shireen actually forgot to put the question mark. You know, <laughs> I see, I see. Uh, see, someone tracked my mistake there. So yeah, I mean, it's meant to be because it's not meant to be serious. I mean, come on, guys. HR is supposed to be taken seriously in some sense or another because anything that happens becomes HR's fault. But HR has the beauty part of it. And to have people like James as HR person, he brings the beauty and the fun out of it. So I'm sure all the guests that we're going to have from the all the episodes on, seriously, we have a lineup of wonderful speakers already. And there are many more who will be invited. And they are all super fun HR, super, 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 super fun. So we're going to have loads of fun. So honestly, it's not going to be serious discussions at all. Although it's going to go around the HR, revolve around the HR topics. Right, James? Yes, because as a trainer, I always believe uh, when somebody has fun learning, learning becomes fun and it lasts, right? Correct. I always say, I always say, with our trainings. I think, James, you have attended our trainings. You have never seen a serious part of it. It's always learning through play, having fun, and that's where the learning yes. happens. Yeah. Yes. And it tends to stay as well. That's the most important thing because we do not want, uh, as, as you know, L&D professionals, when we organize uh, trainings, right, we do not want our participants to walk out thinking, hey, the food was good, the trainer was fun, but what about the learning? Yeah. So I'm happy to say actually in our evaluation forms, I always say, I always see five, 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 good, 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 good. Suddenly the food, if it's at a hotel, I will see some question marks there, like, you know, one, two, three, which actually spoils the whole evaluation form actually. So yeah, yeah. it's always great to have all the fives on the training list, on the trainers list, on the environment and the learning outcomes and the objectives met. But it's also nice to have five on the food don't you agree yeah after this if you are a hotel please sponsor us with some good food oh yeah oh guess no, what no, no. i'm not i'm not trying to uh get some sponsorship <laughs> no, 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 no. oh let me share this in between uh the mco it was cmco in december we had a training face to face in putrajaya for a client mm -hmm. and ministry of health was there so um, being me, the k for me, I went walking around to see, first I'll go and see who's the client. Then I'll go and see who's the trainer. Then I went to see who's, what is the food like. Guess what? I had to take a picture and do a comparison. Ministry of Health's food, super healthy stuff. All right, they had fruits, they had juices, they had steamed eggs, they had, they had really healthy food. On the other hand, the other side, running another program had nasi lemak, rendang, uh, fried vegetables, which is okay, that's a good one. 
<laughs> and all the fried goreng, goreng stuff, and the, and the, okay, I'm sure you are hungry. Hey, wait a minute, guys. It is a lunch talk. Are you all eating with us? If you are, I would like to know what is your menu for today. But if you are not, I think one person who has not eaten, who, which is CA, because we spoke a while ago, he has, he has been having a busy day today and he has not grabbed right, lunch. CA, do you have your lunch with you? And what are you guys eating? Come share with us. Some queen. Hey, I have not had my lunch either, Shireen. Oh, you didn't share with me. But anyway, do you need lunch? After all, do you need to eat? Yes. Yes. Healthy food. Oh, what is healthy food to you? Nasi lemak, ayam goreng, berempah, mako, hancho, lap, apa? Jantung ke paru-paru ke apa ni? Oh, puri din. I like jantung paru-paru as well. Everything. I knew you were going to come up with that. Like. Extra bit of sambal. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys, what are you guys eating? Share with us because it's a lunch talk. You all are supposed to bring your lunch along with you guys to watch this show. And guys, if you stay until the end of the show, I'll have one question post up there where I will need your answers and you stand a chance to win something really yummy. Not, not food. I'm not sponsoring food. We're sponsoring wait, wait, something. Can I, can, I, can I tell them a date with me? <gasps> uh, James, don't chase them all away, please. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to. Seriously, guys, chicken rice. Oh my god, nasi lemak today, Tila. <laughs> Seriously, guys, if you spend a day with James, you will have. You cannot leave him. It will be from morning. You will have breakfast with him, tea with him, lunch with him. Afternoon tea break with him, dinner with him, and supper with him. Even that, you will not need to want to go back, but I think he will tell you, please, I'll send you home. <laughs> He's such a gentleman. He will entertain, or he entertains me from whatever time he needs to. You know what? Food makes the world go round. So wherever I went, you know, the first thing that I did uh, would research the local food and try it because... When you connect with the locals at the place where you are, you talk about food, they just like, you know, they just brighten up and they share about their food, the culture. This is called building rapport, you know? Yeah, food is always the center of a, uh, communication to build rapport, isn't it? And don't forget to bring uh, the pills that, you know, tries to settle the stomach after the food. Are you talking about India? Oops, I hope we have no one from India here. Well, honestly, the food is amazing in India. Only the water I have a problem with. <laughs> right, James? Yes, I love food. Anywhere, anywhere. I will try anything. Okay, so you see, Hanisa <coughs> had leftover nasi goreng. Tom yum. Oh. Yeah, oh, that's the tom yum. Is that oh, plain tom yum, tom yum or is that with chicken? Is that a mixed tom yum, tom yum gong? Oh, I tell you, Zati's, Zati's speciality is Tom Yam. Wait, when she comes back from her village, her kampong, I'll get her to bring a bottle for you. Oh my God, you will drop dead. It's so yummy. Right, Zati? And Hanisa had what? Sambal tumis petai, ikan bilis. Oh my goodness, now I am. I need this now. Did you read her comment? She said, she said, I asked hubby to help cook leftover rice. You see the ask and help, how it came together? She didn't <laughs> say lightning. ask, yeah. She threw in the help a bit as well. Mm. Women are very smart. They use the right words to get the right help that they need. <laughs> At the end of the day, men are the best cooks. Don't you agree? I can't deny that. I know that. Because I know you're a good cook too. That's why I call, send you message recipe, please. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah, this, is, this is the other thing about Shireen. She's always like, hey, I'm baking this red velvet cake, but it's not coming out right. Can you please send me this recipe? And I'm like, Shireen, that's the hundredth time I'm sending you a recipe for a simple red velvet cake. 
Well, James, to answer all that challenge that I have and the issues, being a HR, how would you help someone in difficulty who keeps making the same mistake over and over again and still can't rectify the problem? What would you do? I'd bake the cake and bring it over to you. Say, here, eat it. That's like feeding someone a fish and they will not learn how to feed themselves for life. Then you keep coming to my house and sending me red velvet cakes, okay? No, then you'll start buying my cakes. And then you will tell your friends who will buy my cakes and they will tell their friends who will buy my cakes and I become rich. Come on. It's all about dollars and cents. Okay, let's get serious here. In the HR perspective, what would you do if someone keeps making mistakes over and over again and you need to guide them? What would you do? First of all, have lots of patience because that's what HR is all about. It is not human resources, it's human relationship, it's heart relationships, it's HR, heart relationship. You don't want to stop the heart, do you now? This is where coaching comes in. This is where HR practitioners have to have, to have a lot of time, you know, when they take a deep breath and go, okay, let's start. And then until you get it right, never stop, never stop. Because, you know, just like hard relations, building relations takes time, takes patience, takes effort. So if you don't have time, uh, patience, and, and, and the heart uh, for developing people, I, <clears throat> yeah, you know, don't you agree, Shereen? I'm you so excited. I love your answer because I'm setting a date. You're coming to my house. You're going to take your time your patience, and put in your effort to teach me how to bake that red velvet cake with your heart. So. <laughs> Earth to James. Earth to James. Earth to James. Oh, welcome back on the show. <laughs> yes, we'll take it offline, Shireen. <laughs> yes. But on a serious note, yes, that's the right way of handling HR issues. So, well, what, I will. What about those who are who are actually watching the show? I mean, I'm sure they have their own thoughts as well. Uh, why don't you put it in the comments? Um, how do you, you know, if you are in the HR field, or you know, um, what do you think? Just put it in the comment. Yeah. yeah. We'd love to hear. Yeah, we'd love yeah. to hear your thoughts. Exactly. Please type in the comment below. How would you handle issues in HR if you have any? A, 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 pro, a problematic, a problem that keeps coming back to you from your staff at HR level, what would you do? Share it with us. We would love to hear. And James, and I thought it's all about intervention. This is where we come in and intervent. Yeah, and we intervent and invent. Yeah, we can yeah. even invent something. Yeah. You know? Correct. So, James, I have a question for you. Yes. I know you started off with 007, but why is it still here? Where are you planning to run to? Can I know? What, what was it again? Why is your body language on the side? Where are you trying to run to or are you trying to show your better side? I'm not running away anywhere because I always think, you know, this is a position of power. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, you're trying I to run, you're stuck with me. I mean, when, when, when you take profile pictures and all that, you don't see people really staring like that. They are always, because, you know, this is a, uh, tell me. Okay. But I, on the other hand, will follow Kamala Harris way. It's also a, a, a friendly, friendly position. You know? it, it's more inviting because Casual. when you're sitting this way and your head is tipped on one side and, you know, it's like. Okay, Nina and Faiz, come on, move, shift. All right, guys, that was a very insightful questions about HR. So I have another question. Mm. Uh, is this show only meant for HR people? Oh. No. What do you think, Shun? Definitely not. Absolutely not. Not. Yeah. I don't because know. HR, as you know, is some, it, well, the heart of the organization. Uh, the heart pumps to the rest of the body. Yeah, 
So everybody is connected. So it's not just about HR, it's about the organization, it's about everyone within the organization. Because to make the organization move, to make the organization work, to make the organization be more successful for an organization to achieve their objectives, et cetera, et cetera, everyone is involved. So whether you are in HR or related to HR or out of HR, you're most welcome. Yeah. Absolutely. And I believe you are HR as long as there are people re reporting to you. Even if it's one, even if you don't have any, you have cross uh, functions that are working with you, you are into, you are dealing with humans. So everyone is welcome. Every single person is welcome. You guys not eating also? CA asking, God, cookie. I got my cookie here. Can you see my cookie? It's not very healthy, not very healthy. You know, when, whenever somebody gives me an Oreo, you know what I do? I take the middle layer of cream out and just eat the biscuit. Oh, you know what my son does? He dips it, he takes it all out, he throws yeah, it into like, What? That's the best part, the cream. Uh, he puts it into milk and eats it up and then he wonders why he's putting on weight. Thank you, Shakila. Completely in agreement with Sassy. Yes. Of course. No le. CA said no le. You guys not eating shortly le. <laughs> All right. So do we have another question? Guys, uh, guys in the audience, if you have questions, please put it out in the chat box. We would love to hear from you. We want to hear what you want to hear so that we can answer your questions. Yes. So over to you, Nina and Paez, for another question if you have. Yes, we do. Okay, so next question is, what are the kinds of topics that your audiences can expect for the upcoming episodes? And can they request for you to invite certain guests or choose certain topics for your next episodes? Oh, inviting guests. Oh, I'm sorry, Sassi. Uh, would you would you like to start first or can I start first? Go ahead. All right. Okay. So I would love to hear from the audience because it's because of the audience that's why we are here because we want to give them what they want to hear. So on the topics that, well, we have planned is around HR like uh, benefits and training and upskilling and what else and what not, but it's not about us. It's really about you guys, you guys, the audience. What you all want to hear, who you all would like us to invite. We are very open to working with you guys because it's your show, not our show. Over yeah, to you, you James. Um, the, the current challenges, the current challenges in the climate that we are in, the current challenges because HR has faced a lot of challenges, not just organization, organization but HR in itself has been facing a lot of challenges. So we can we can, we can can call in guests. I mean, in LinkedIn itself, we have so many people who talk about uh, handling the crisis, you know, the pandemic, the post-pandemic, what's gonna happen post-pandemic? Are we still going to have face-to-face -face training? Are we gonna go out? What is the new norm? Is there a new norm? You know, there's so many things that we can talk about. And uh, this is where we can, you know, intervent intervent and go international with some of our thoughts because i do see a lot of organizations that just not within asia that has come up with brilliant ideas you know and they've uh, they've they've, they've uh, got they've got programs in place they've got uh, apps in place i mean look look the pandemic was not a setback guys it wasn't a setback it was actually a set up for greater things i mean can you imagine there's like so many things that's happening out there that we can explore? And this is the place we are going to explore with you. Absolutely. So well said, James. The pandemic was really a setback for a setup for, for a massive comeback. So we should never take things negatively because everything has gone online, which has not limited us. That's why we can do this and even reach out to international people who can watch our show. I mean, I'm in touch with a lot of HR internationally. So that would have not really been easy if there's no pandemic. Like two to three years ago, I've been advocating to many clients, hey, let's have a meeting, you know, on Zoom, for instance, because you know, the time traveling in Malaysia, 
In fact, from Petaling Jaya to go to Kuala Lumpur will take you easily one hour with the traffic. So it, it defeats the purpose when we can actually still, um, still understand their needs, still know their challenges, still link with them, still, you know, uh, bond with them through online. Of course, I would also love to anytime catch up for a coffee with any of our clients, right? But we can do things faster when we need things over uh, and online. So yeah, the pandemic was really something that, again, spot on Sasi, Shakila, wow, wonderful. Yes, that's I'm right. Let's start, let's start a fan club, Shakila, you and I. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> fantastic. So yeah. So I think the pandemic was there to, to actually grow us further and not pull us back or bring us down. It was there to make us move forward faster. Sometimes yeah. I feel like, you know, the universe gives us a massive slap on the face and says, look, wake up, do things differently. Look forward because that's the way you grow. Otherwise, you'll still, you still be in a cave somewhere going, hunger, bonga, hunger, bonga, you, you, you cook, you woman, you cook, I go hunt, hunt, hunt. You'll still be there. Yeah, right? exactly. So times have moved so much. So yeah. um, who else has a question? Do you have some more questions for us? Does the, does the audience have questions for us? Yeah, throw it in, throw it in. We are throw it we in. Tila, Tila, do you have questions for us around the HR line? Liz, Audrey, Raisha, Raisha, I hope I'm mentioning it right. Sam, Samantha, Ray. Teacher Kian, Cairo, Cairo, another HR person. Come on, share with us your questions. Aliza. Come on, guys, share with us. Amin, Yandaro Al Amin, I see you in the house. Rohit. Come share with us some questions. All right. Do you have another question for us while we wait for the... Yes, I do. Yeah. While we're waiting for our... Yeah. You have so many questions for us. Questions. Don't worry. It's just the last one for us, from us. Okay. So this one is a little bit on a personal note. So uh, earlier in the show, you mentioned that you guys met each other long, long, long time ago, right? So at that point of time what were your first impressions about each other try to describe it in like just three words we're curious about that can i start can i start so it was a dark and stormy night the wind was howling all around and the rain was pouring so hard and as I was driving down the roads so lonely and dark and okay long story short Shireen had a personality that I could connect with. Shireen had product that I could relate with. She had the knowledge, she had the skills, she had the professionalism that, um, you know, Shireen, you can, you can stop growing now. <laughs> I mean, Actually, I'm trying to pull myself back onto the chair. She was, she was so easy to connect with. I mean, I found myself you know, easily uh, being able to uh, talk with her because, you know, where I come from, uh, from, from the part of the organization, because um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to spend my organization's money in, in, in uh, what do you call, giving out uh, training to the training vendors. I didn't want to just give it out to anyone. I wanted to make sure that there was a return in investment you know, that she had some substance and that her company had some substance. And she ticked all the boxes. She really ticked all the boxes. And sometimes when she calls me and asks me about salmon, she ticks me off as well. <laughs> salmon, yes, that's my favorite. Oh, well, by the way, I had to stop because I probably have mercury poisoning in my blood from overeating salmon. <laughs> so, so, yeah. yeah. So as, 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 um, as, uh, as, as you know, in, in a business relationship wise, um, it was a good business relationship because I was able to uh, tailor make uh, the training that she was bringing into my organization. And she was easy to, I mean, not to say easy to negotiate with, but um, she knew where my, 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 my train of thoughts were. 
um, and she was able to fit in and she was able to bring in the best trainers. I mean, they were mind blowing trainers. They were absolutely wonderful trainers and they were not just there to, you know, go hula bula, you know, rah, rah, and then go off. No, they, they, they left us like, wow, I didn't think about that. How come I didn't think about that? I mean, I actually sneak into the training, sit at the back and go, hmm, I heard something. Maybe I should just, you know, and I use, I mean, I'm shameless to say, Shireen, I actually use some of the things that your, your trainers uh, use during the trainers in my own training, but then I don't sell outside, lie, you know, within my own company, right? So this is where the learning is. So it, it actually has substance. So when, when you can use that, when there's a good relationship, when there is, you know, uh, amazing connection. This is where magic happens, you know, and it's all because we want to grow our organization. We're not just there for a nine to five job, you know, get my salary at the end of the day, I don't care. No, we want there, we, we are there because we want to develop our people so that they too can become uh, people who will think about the future, not just for the moment, right? You're not working for the moment here now, but you want to think about the future. You want to think about future of work, especially in your area. If you are a specialist in your area, don't just, you know, concentrate on your area. You have to think about what else, you know, start connecting the dots and then you'll see possibilities. And even the even if the possibility sounds like a BHAG, you know what a BHAG is, right? A big, hairy, audacious goal. Right? Even if it is so big and hairy, take the shaver, trim it a bit, you know, make it look nice. And uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it is all about inventions. It's all about, you know, coming up with a solution that works. I think I've spoken too much. What do you think, Faiz? I mean, did I answer your question, Faiz? Absolutely, you did. You did. With a very elaborate... And but more than three words, lah. <laughs> Hey, I didn't know I was, you know, locked into three words. You can't lock into <laughs> three words. I'm more than three words. Hello. <laughs> James is but never those, those a great guy in the box. <laughs> Shireen, you are the rock star. Ooh. Aww. That's so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Wait but... till you see her in a leather suit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, uh, we do have another question. So, can I answer uh, about how I like James, how I connected to him? Of course, please do. We would like to know. So, after you're done with that, I will share with you questions from our viewer. Oh, okay. I'll make it really fast in three words. Please go okay, ahead. More than three words. First of all, James, you really touched my heart. You almost made me cry because I really didn't know that you felt that much. Seriously, thank you and how i linked with you <clears throat> oh gosh <laughs> oh don't cry <laughs> somebody oh gosh <laughs> oh, that was so touching really i mean for clients to actually tell us that it means so much because we really put in so much of effort into making sure that things are all right for our clients so um well about you james <laughs> honestly i was always so scared of you the first time i met you because you spoke like the queen your English was so bombastic, was so good, and I was like almost a fresh graduate at that time. <laughs> and <laughs> so, yeah, you were overwhelming. The Queen of England, you know, the Queen does not really speak English that well either. <laughs> but honestly, you spoke so well, so, so well. And because, like what you said, you had so much of, you had a, a, a checkbox that I never knew of. But because you put so much of emphasis on the outcome that what you really wanted, I put so much more emphasis into making sure I connect with you so that I can give you what you really want. Because being scared and afraid of a client is not going to work. I used to be afraid of, honestly, when I, when I was a first gradu fresh graduate and I used to talk to even white people, you know, the Caucasians, I used to feel inferior. But no longer. After a while, honestly, you pull off everyone's skin. We are all the same. It's the same skeleton inside. So, yeah, I, I really got myself, because of you, I built up a lot of confidence to speak to a lot of other clients because you were scary before. <laughs> but you knew what you want. And I said, yes, overcome that fear. Have that confidence. Do what you need. And, yeah, that's how 
I really love the journey with you and I'm so glad that, that now, honestly, we're no longer like client vendor, trainer vendor, whatever vendor, vendor thing is just no. friends, full stop. We're just friends and I'm so glad of that. Thank you so much. That, that, we all have that, that one thing that we want to achieve, which is success, not just for us, but for our clients as well. Because when we go out there, talk to our clients we want them to be yeah. successful as well it's not just about you know throwing a training with them and saying hey go we want to see them grow we want to see their organization grow and we want them to come back and say look you did a really good job you know absolutely that's really why we are here and that's why we've been yeah. here since year 2002 too because that's the value we need to bring to every organization local or international wherever because we are dealing with humans humans are yeah. fragile humans yeah. need to talk humans want a solution but they don't know where to go so we always want to be there yeah. so okay sorry i took more than three words Faiz. <laughs> what's the next question okay. so our question comes from miss shakila it is the president hr challenges in malaysia that she would like to hear from you guys Okay. Uh, James, would you like to handle that one? The present HR challenges being in the environment? Um, you know, here in Malaysia, um, it depends on the type of organization that, that you are currently with. Uh, from my own uh, experience, I've worked for organizations even before the pandemic happened. There were so many um there were so many uh you know uh products there were so many methods of uh carrying out conversations like this that was already in place we, we had zoom we had online trainings all that was already in place and then when pandemic happened i was also in an organization that was totally not ready for anything in terms of it infrastructure in in terms of you know mindset even you know it's like they could not grasp the idea of working from home. Let me talk to you about just this one particular challenge. There's so many challenges that you can talk about, but this work from home, where we have this old school and the forward thinking school, the old school things, I need to see you in the office, nine to five, I need to see you, I need to see you do work. Whether you are productive or not, no, I need to see you at the office. But then there's another forward thinking, uh, organizations that look at the output, not just seeing you, but they want to see the output. You know, this is why I've hired you for, this is why I've hired your talent, because you are bringing something to the organization, not just your personality, not just you, but your experiences. And I don't care if I see you in the office, um, what I care for is, at the end of the day, are we moving forward? Are we are we showing results? Are we, you know, bringing the organization forward? And are we, you know, thinking ahead? Are we thinking ahead of the competition one? You know, because it's all about the competition. Who who does best? And you know, where is the money going to come from? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So, it, you have to be open minded in terms of where work from home is concerned. Trust is the most important component in this and that is the biggest challenge if you are not open if you're not a forward-thinking person if you're constantly held back by you know wanting to see physical person in the in the building this was a big slap for you you know because you can be productive no matter where you are i can go to a starbucks have a coffee, be really, really comfortable in that environment, listening to some jazz music and be so productive. Do you agree with me, Jerry? Yeah, I can be so productive because it is where I am most comfortable in. You know, and I'm, I'm not I'm like, you know, when I first joined this company where they, the CEO and my bosses came to the office with a tie. And I'm like, this is Malaysia. Why are you wearing a tie? It's like, you know, I'm like, take the tie off. And I refused to wear a tie. And eventually, everybody took their tie off. It's yeah. how you influence people with, you know, how, you know. And I showed them that I was someone of success. I was doing work, you know, I was producing, etc. It's not about where you are, what you wear, etc. It's about, you know, what you can bring. So, yeah, again, it, the, the trust issue is there. So that's 
I think in Malaysia, that's the biggest challenge. Whereas I've worked uh, in, in all these other countries, what they look at is um, what you can bring. Yeah. You know, your, your results, they look at your results, you know. If you say you can deliver it and you deliver it, hey, you're worth it. Absolutely. I totally agree on that. Totally. So, Shakila, I hope we answered your question. There's another question by Shakila. I could see you both. Oh, I could see you both are extremely passionate and dedicated about talent. Way to go. Wishing you the best. She said, continue to rock. <laughs> Yeah, that's amazing. And uh, well, we have had quite a bit of uh, questions. Uh, and to be honest, it's been, I have had so much of fun. How about you, James? Oh, yes, I've had so much of fun. I'm actually hungry. My, my metabolism suddenly, you know, just <laughs> resuscitated. I thought my metabolism <laughs> died a long time ago. No, in fact, committed suicide a long time ago. But now I'm hungry. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, before we come to the end of the show, I'd like you guys to type out some questions that you guys like us to answer in future shows with our uh, other guests that will be coming in onto this show. Because the winner of any of the questions that we select, you will get a gift from us. So that was a surprise that I told you guys. Stay on until the end. We would love to hear because, like I said, it is your show. We want to hear what kind of questions you will have in terms of HR or anything else, trust, like what James was talking, work from home, any area that you would like to hear us cover. And we will pick up, whichever that we pick up, we will send you a gift. We will definitely be in touch with you to send you a gift. So get the fingers typing in the comment below and type out your, your questions and we will capture them. So, well, we've come to the end of the show and i really like to thank all of you for attending the show for being here with your lunch, eating with us, chatting with us, saying hi to us, encouraging us most of all. And I also like to thank, of course, James. You've been wonderful. <laughs> Yay! Nina and Fires too, of course, because yes. you were behind the scenes to make everything smoothly. So thank you all. And guess what? Our next episode, put this down in your calendar, is on the 31st of March. Same time, 1 p.m., same day, Wednesday. That's two weeks from today. If you didn't get to, cap uh, to attend live on this show, we are going to upload this onto the, our YouTube channel. So come and watch it there. Don't forget, guys, also to come and connect to James and myself, our Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, whatever social media, every social media, TikTok, whatever talk. Just come and connect with us. We should do a TikTok together, Shireen. Come on. Oh, yeah, we should do that. That's next on the scene. <laughs> Woohoo! And guys, if you have any training-related kind of questions or training-related inquiries, please drop us an email at training at compassmind.com. I repeat that, training at compassmind.com, which will also be in the chat box in a while. Uh, that's when our chat bot decides to type it down <laughs> all right and you also visit our website www.compassmind.com so again thanks so much for having lunch with us it's two o'clock sharp sharp we start the sharp sharp at one and we're so happy to just have you guys but before we go any last words james thank you so much this has been absolutely amazing and uh, look the questions are just coming in i mean wow after this, I'm going to, you know, my mom is actually cooking. I told her, mom, don't come out. I can you smell know. it. Yeah. Yeah, is it rustic? Like, I, I don't know. It's like when you're back home and you're like, mom is cooking. I'm like, mm. yeah, keep the questions running. I mean, it's really good. No question is too hard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if it's too hard, Shireen will answer. <laughs> we'll answer it together. We'll yes. be there for you guys. Just as long as That's you are there for us. So we yeah. look forward to seeing you all on the next show. So we meet again. See ya. Bye. Take care. Stay safe, guys. And see you on the next Sassy and Sharin show. The HR Intervent Show. HR TV. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay, bye. bye.
Now it's time for lunch. Rasen? Is it Rasen? <laughs>